All right, finally, if you could bring back any GM brand, but one of the current ones has to go, would you do it? And if you would, which one would you revive and which one would you kill off? Oldsmobile. I, I, I just bring back Oldsmobile. I, I, I mentioned it enough here. I, yeah, I, you have yeah. mentioned Oldsmobile. I didn't think we'd talk so much Oldsmobile today. I'm kind of surprised at that. It's, it's surprisingly charming through the years. Uh, you know, and we've, we've at times, like a lot of our editors have, have owned them, grew up with them. John Snyder's, like, grandfather was, like, he like ran it, them. right? Yeah. yeah like, so we're, we're basically Oldsmoblog here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd bring back Oldsmobile. And uh, we don't need, you know, actually, I think the, le- I think the least coherent brand is Chevrolet, honestly. But I'd probably get rid of Buick. We don't, yeah. we don't need another premium adjacent luxury focus on Cadillac. I I would be surprised if you two chose anything other than Buick to get rid of, honestly. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, well, actually, you get rid of GMC, too, because, like, if, if, if they sell the same, thing, apart from the Acadian, you know, yeah, the terrain is basically, you can, the Acadia is one of yeah. the most distinctive vehicles. Um, yeah. All right, Byron, what would you bring back and what would you get rid of? Uh, I'd bring back keep... Pontiac and yeah. kill, kill Buick. Yeah. Okay. I feel like I was I was burning like everything was kind of leading to that question. Really, <laughs> if you if you look at some of the things I'd already chosen here, yeah, that was that was kind of inevitable. Pontiac was uh, such a shame because there was like everyone like we all liked the idea of Pontiac. We kind of got what the brand should be, and I think that was kind of distilled in that G8, even though they took it from Australia. Um, but the reality was like ribbed plastic body cladding and the Pontiac G3 and just like they couldn't help themselves about, you know, actually creating a coherent brand where like, yeah, we're going to be the performance oriented, but not luxury brand. Okay. That's a thing. We've kind of seen yeah. there are those that exist. Um, like it, we all wanted it to be Mazda with like a hell yeah American vibe, basically. Yeah. But they they just never they could never drive it home 